Yo guys, what is going on? It's Darren here. So, with the recent updates to the armors, the hit chances, and the Gold Wars dungeon, I thought I'd do a quick video and show you guys and try to make it simple as possible how they change it. Alright, so first up is the armor changes. So, basically, we have now three different types of classes of armors. So, first up, we have the power gear or the offensive gear, which is, for example, the gear like Nexad's Gold Wars armors. And with that, you have 10% more damage boost to weapons. So let's say uh, Tova is now level 80 gear, and you will have 10% more to Kerex, for example, because that's level 80 as well. So, but with the 10% more damage comes a nerf as well, because now they have less life points and less armor rating than before. So if you want DPS, you should go for this armor, but if you want to tank some hits, then this is probably not the best choice. Right, so the second gear is the tribit gear or the hybrid gear. So that, for example, is now the full obsidian armor that already was be previously as well, but now you can easily see it's all type class. And with this gear comes is the um, less life points, even less than power gear and even less armor rating as well. But you will not have any penalties for the combat style, so you can switch between weapons without needing the need between switching the play body and legs. So that's pretty cool, um, but I don't really see a big use for this. Other hybrid gear is the Void and Accuracy as well. But yeah, um, for Kovat King, this might be useful since he needs to be tri biddable now. He, you need to tri bid him. Alright, so that's for the second gear. And now the last gear is pretty much every other gear in the game, which is the tank gear. For example, the plain old armor gear is now tank gear, and it was before as well. So with the tank gear they did, um, you have 15% more life points and armor than before. And this is pretty much the best tank gear in the game now. You can qu tank quite a lot of hits with this gear because they changed how the armor rating, rating works now. So for example, I went to Zoyana Gold Wars hard mode and I used my full Tetsu and my Tova. And with Tetsu I was getting hit way less often than with my Tova. So I do notice a quite um, increase in defense now because the armor rating does uh, matter now. But the tanky does not have any damage um, boost or any um, decreased penalties against other hit chances. So that's that. Um, other tank gear is pretty much every single other arm in the game except for the next set, Gold Wars armors and the hybrid armors. So yeah, that's the updates to the armors. Alright, so the second update was the changes to hit chances. For example, before the update, the hit chances were mostly relying on your weapon accuracy, and now that's more on your skill level and also on your prayers and potions. So that's why, oh my god, I misclicked. <laughs> that's why they now uh, nerf the accuracy of weapons. For example, on the Drago Longsword, or Dragos in general, it had 4.9k accuracy, and now it has only 2.4k, which is half less, which means that it's not Dragoscape anymore because bit. The previous update, before the update, you could pretty much hit anything with Drygors, even though it was like weak to magic and it was like not weak to melee, you could still like hit through it. Which means that KK is changed now, you don't uh, hit often at all if he's weak to magic and not melee. So yeah, that is a good thing though. But yeah, they changed how the accuracy of weapons work now. Your attack level does matter quite a lot more. So if I go to my equipment screen, um, the Drago has 2.4k and here I have 3.6k currency, so 1200 currency more just for my attack level, which is quite a lot more than before. So yeah, that's the changes to the um, hit chances. So basically now you need to use different styles of gear or weapons at the boss, such as KK, to do some better DPS. So yeah, those were the changes to hit chances and armors. Alright, so the changes to the God Wars dungeon were that you can make your own instance room now. So if you want to have a private room where nobody can bother you, so you can just solo it. Or go with a group of friends and not get bothered by anybody else. You can do that now for a fee of 200k and 250k for Bandos. So there's also an option now to go to hard mode. And that's for the well, Gothix, uh, with Gothix quest and that they use their abilities there. And also with buff stats as well, obviously. So they're quite tough and Smokey has a better video on that, so I'll link his video in the description. 
So if you die now, your gravestone will appear in the waiting room. And for the waiting room, you do need to get 40 kill counts. So it doesn't mean that if you die, you can go back to Godwars Dungeon and not get kill count and still lose your grave, because that's a bit too easy then. Um, so yeah, you do need 40 kill count in order to get um, to get grave again if you die. Alright, so the Godwars bosses are pretty tough now, and currently they are not worth doing for money as they take quite a long to kill and the drop table is really horrible, like some drops are even worse than normal so I would wait with doing that for money for now as hopefully they'll buff them so yeah, um, then yeah, I think that's pretty much it next is not instance and no hard mode for now I don't, I don't know if they're gonna make a hard mode for that, I think so, but not quite yet with the hard mode bosses there are no really new drops, there's only one drop for each boss which is a soul stone that you can get from their kills on hard mode and it's a pretty rare drop to be honest, it's not really that common and once you get it, um, you can charge it by killing bosses in hard mode each time you kill one boss, you'll get one charge to it and once you have 40 charges, you can enter the kill count room without getting kill count or like enter the boss room without kill count and I believe it does reset to zero again but yeah, that's the only thing that was new um, it's not really great drop to get from hard mode as I said hard mode is not worth doing for now but it's pretty fun as some bosses are really tough especially Armadil is really annoying with all those tornadoes coming at you so yeah guys that's basically it if you have any questions be sure to let me kn uh, know in the comments I'll try and answer them all and also put then the question and the answer in the description so people don't ask the multiple questions so yeah guys thanks for watching and I'll see you next time